When you are in a role where you're trying to to be of support and service to others, but you yourself also need to be supported, it's it, it's easy to burn out. myself in November completely burned out. Right now we are inaugurating our solar power here in the Centro de Imaginación or Imagination Center. We've been using this space that used to be a school that was abandoned five years ago and turning it into a multi-use community center. But before we were able to we were able to do that we needed power. So today here we inaugurated uh, Box Power, which is a portable microgrid that it can basically be deployed in, instead of deploying uh, diesel generators in disaster zones. So it's completely portable and the solar panels, we can basically take them off if another hurricane comes back and save them uh, until after the hurricane so we can have power immediately after the hurricane. So our plan is for this to be not only a community center, but, but a center for community-led emergency response. I was just so sad. Um, and that's me, and I'm pretty optimistic, and I do mindfulness and meditation. But imagine everyone else in El Barrio. People are... It's like you, you, you feel desperate, and, and it's a cycle of... Uh, anxiety and depression and then one day you're like why is it that I can't have clean clothes or like why can I just have you know clothes without mold why do, do I have to keep throwing away everything but it's it feels you know it just feels like you have a very heavy load imagine trying to be productive and you have like an additional 70 pounds over your shoulders dragging along it just everything takes longer everything is more complicated then every time I would get depressed, I would sort of drag myself to La Loma, where all the women are cooking, and and then that day I would feel better. That's that's how it would go, you know. That's how it would. happened next week, the, our response is going to be by far quicker, what better informed and better organized than anything. I mean, it's, that's what we're preparing for. And the, what's been very beautiful is seeing how the people in the community are also getting ready for it. But not everyone is, is necessarily ready because it's taken such a high emotional and psychological toll but some people are either on denial or just depressed. It's a very scary time and the people, when people are afraid, they want to hold on to the little bit that they have and the little bit of security and we have been able to do this by doing the opposite and when you're very scared, you let that fear drive you towards somewhat something that's beautiful and something that's that's abundant and so we are very aware that the reality is that right now there's a lot of people that are at home kind of looking for their habichuelas looking out for their habichuelas you know but here we decided let's share everything and that actually creates more that's going to be a person by person process so this is for generations to come our vision is to, in two to three years, 
there's going to be people here at all times. Whether it's people coming from outside and staying in the hostel and, and, and doing trips here, getting to see, um, to help rebuild in the community, but also purchasing some of the things that are produced here. We are interested in, in seeing that kind of from volunteer to actually having people that are interested in partnering. And it's called um, uh, solidarity tourism or justice tourism, a different kind of tourism. I see so much future in Mariana. It's an incredible place. Um, I want to stay living here. I want to see future generations here. And for us, the vision is that we are building a community that the future generations will look back at this time and be very grateful and proud that we decided to do something different.